Hey y'all, it's AGP here, you feel me? And, um, you know, obviously, actually, well, just to start off, obviously, today, or really tomorrow morning at 12, Ghost of Tsushima comes out, so I will be playing that on the channel. I just finished The Last of Us Part 2 walkthrough on Survivor Difficulty, if y'all want to check that out, you should definitely go check that out. I think I'm going to do a walkthrough of Ghost of Tsushima, but I'm also trying to decide between that and some highlights, because that's always my dilemma, although I could do both, but I might just start with the walkthrough but all that aside y'all know i'm a ubisoft fan i'm a big ass assassin's creed fan i'm a big Watch Dogs fan since Watch Dogs 2 i didn't actually play one but two was actually one of my favorite games so i loved that um y'all know i had already made videos about Watch Dogs 3 if you haven't i have a playlist called Watch Dogs 3 check it out you feel me when they were first announcing it um <clears throat> and obviously we were waiting we were just waiting to see what was going to happen with Watch Dogs 3, and of course, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which I'm also going to do a reaction to for that gameplay, because the first time they said we were getting gameplay, that was not any gameplay. If y'all want to see that reaction, I have that up too, under Assassin's Creed Valhalla, that playlist. So, check both of those out if y'all want to see, but without further ado, we're about to get into this. I'm very excited. I'm mad I didn't know about Ubisoft's conference, but anyways, we're about to get this. I think they called it Forward. I'm kind of tight. But, all right, so let's get this. Ah, London Town. A modern metropolis. This better be new, because they, they must start all of them like this. They kind of do. And prosperity. Only I'm took 12,000 like, years to build it up. Better not be the same. I'd be tight. It's going to be the down. right shit. I'm going to be tight. Not that tight. Oh, my God. Is that look crazy Listen already? Up. Get all your units to move in and lock down the city. Oh, y'all giving us insight right now on who we're going to be fighting against? Is that what this is? With London we, under we attack the by a mysterious terrorist, oh, sure. the government turns to a private military company called Albion to keep Albion, everyone okay. safe. Yeah, what bitch could ass possibly ass. go wrong? <laughs> you going to let him backhand you like that? Mr. Nigel wow, Cass, CEO of Albion. Nigel Cass is kindly like a bitch. To establish ass, order. Mm -hmm. Understand this. Look at him. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize this. Not even myself. He will stop at nothing to permanently control the city. I'm thinking Nigel Cass is a little crazy. London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Mm, by Nigel's a not terrorist. the only opportunist who's taken a liking to this fair city. Damn. Meet Mary Kelly, head of the most powerful crime syndicate in London. Mary Kelly. Be sure and spread the word. Shoot. She and her goons are using the dark web to sell everything from party pills to people. Wow, we're going to be breaking into a lot of places. Oh it's scary, I know, but I've got to keep tracks on my merchandise, don't I? You made me a slave. You do not want to ruffle her feathers. Wow. With the city out on its ass, it now falls on you to build a resistance oh, she gotta die. and I'm take sorry. back London. This is some real right, John Wick moves, bro. Any of the brave Londoners you see walking the streets can be recruited into your team. Like him. Damn. Her. Or even her. <laughs> Everyone can become your next secret weapon. <laughs> Okay. In our first mission, we need to get some dirt sure, on yeah. Nigel Cass, and that means breaking into Albion headquarters inside the Tower of London. All the hardy souls you see here are people we have recruited from the streets of London. That all this is so dope because if y'all like I was saying earlier about this the videos I made, whoever you like. I was like I was I was skeptical about the NPC situation and how they were gonna make it work. When I saw the actual premiere, I said, "Oh wow, you yeah, actually did make it work." Well, it looks like. Like everyone in DeadSec, Arthur can hack pretty much whatever. My squad about to be but crazy. But as a construction worker, he has a particular set of tools that make him handy. Okay. He can even he call his own cargo drone. We're going to be escaping on big-ass drones. And think, who wouldn't see that coming, though? When you're not invited. And who needs a regular old gun when you have a bloody nail gun? Wow. Come here, you soidoid shit This gotta be on the easiest level. He walked up in here like he owned the spot. Okay. Jesus Christ, what is that thing? Perhaps we could approach this mission differently. If you'd rather keep your distance, we've got you covered. 
Thank you, guys. You aiming is a drone there, like... expert. What have we here? A real tech connoisseur. Hate spiders, but love this one. That's tough. I, I, I've been trying to figure out what my team is gonna be like. Here we are. Let's class the place up. A drone expert does have the unique ability to summon their own drone. This little darling is fast and stealthy. She aims, she fires, she hits. I'm reading incoming drones. She can also hack enemy drones, turning the tide in her favor. And if you are not into direct confrontation, there are more ways than one to get the job done. Okay. We switched to three different people now. The squad. Recruiting an Albion officer like oh, Brielle shit. here might be challenging. Might. But it'll get you inside be restricted Albion areas. Don't mind me. Okay. Just doing recon for a bunch of insurgents. Y'all did yourself for However, that. However, do for anything that. suspicious and she'll probably wind up with a bullet in the back of her head. You've been approved for entry. How do you recruit an agent? We're missing the human element here. I can get the defense minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. I always helps to have a mole inside, but damn. How? how? Oh, oh, shit. She needs to go. Criminals running our streets. Illegals threatening our families. The police commissioner himself. Oh, he sounds... Assassinated by sounds terrorists. Sounds pretty ignorant. Well, that seems to be enough evidence. Next up, we're crashing Mary Kelly's organ farming operation and putting a stop to it. That's good. The buyers expect high quality stuff. Oh, and man. we need a hard nut for this. Impairing our frontal lobe again, are we? Bags, don't disturb me in my natural habitat. <laughs> Say hello to cool. Mickey. The man lives for his team. I put another air on my chest. And doesn't mind getting his hands dirty. Okay, do it over your head button folks, he dodged the crowbar. Is there a dodge button? Or is that just a good move out of the way? I don't know. I hope there is some kind of side step button. And he's he gonna get a permit death just from drinking too much. We'll come back to him. I'd be telling you. You know what? Let's go with someone a bit more professional. Oh. <laughs> Hello. It's almost crass to call him a hitman. What? No silencers? That's something we, we most definitely need if we're gonna be sneaking around. Wow. Some I mean, he might nice. even call him an artist. Oh. I'm telling you, this is some John Wick shit. If y'all haven't seen it, y'all need to see it. Here's the bastard responsible. Wow. <sighs> Done and dusted. Not bad, not bad if I do okay. say so, innit? Not everyone in London is a legendary assassin or a super spy, but everyone can be a hero. True. Yeah, it's gonna be tough having some of these like real frawlers, so get out frawlers fighters the slash brawlers who actually know some shit. That's gonna be tough. It's time to take back London. Okay. I see you. Well, yeah, it's fair to say that um. That looks tough. Uh, Watch Dogs 3 Legion looks tough. I think I had talked about it a couple times, of course, but uh, it's nice to see us getting there. I thought I saw an actual release date on the PlayStation Store, but I'll show y'all that with my Elgato probably later. But you guys may know about it already. I think you can probably look it up. I don't remember what it was. But I also just realized that this was just the gameplay overview. So I'll give you this. And I think there's a full presentation one that I will watch because, again, I missed the conference which is upsetting because, like I said, I love Ubisoft. A lot of their games I really do love. I also forgot to bring up Splinter Cell earlier, which is disrespectful. But that's because they haven't told us much about the new one whenever that's going to be a thing. But I appreciate y'all watching this. 
Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, if y'all want to go check out The Last of Us Part 2 walkthrough, if you want to check out more videos that I did on Watch Dogs 3 Legion or um, really anything, you know, just go to my playlist, check it out. Uh, I Whatever news I do, I always play the game on the channel. That is the idea. So I always do a bunch of news. So there will be news on Watch Dogs 3 Legion 2. Once I'm done with Ghost of Tsushima, I'll probably do it while I'm playing it. But, you know, I'll, I'll do some news. I'll give y'all that while also giving news about because Avengers and stuff is coming out. So there's a few games that I'm waiting for that I can't wait to play that I got to do news on. Did a bunch of Cyberpunk 2077 news videos. That got delayed, which sucks. But anyways, the news I do, I play them. But I'm going to catch y'all next time, all right? Peace. Ladies came back, get up, 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 get